ask you how you did your hair because you're telling me before you went down that that's like the biggest dumbest fan question. But Canadian fans are pretty awesome. Yeah, they just they just screamed. <laughs> they screamed no matter what you said. Yeah, yeah. In fact, if you're just like, can you repeat the question? They were like, ah, that's amazing. <laughs> Does that feel that must feel a little strange that it doesn't actually matter the content of what you're saying. I yeah, it's a little bit. I was going to say disheartening, but it's not really disheartening at all. I mean, I have nothing to say anyway. <laughs> <I'm just sorry. laughs> Don't say that. It's like Beetle Mania or something, Twilight Mania. I was going to ask you because you're a Canadian, so you'll get what I'm talking about. All these kids were lining up to get tickets. The kids were cool, but some of my parents. A little crazy, and I thought, is the Twilight mom the new hockey mom? I was just going to say, hockey parents. Right, I right? was totally, as you were saying that, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, the hockey kids do Twilight. The so hockey go moms. get her signature! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you better come back with a signature. If you don't come back with at least five signatures, I swear to God, I'm going to pull you from this school. Like, you know? This is bananas to me. I'm like, chill out, man. Your kids are cool. Yeah, I'll just a little... Out of control. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to say any advice you could give to the parents to chill out, man. Um, I think it's really sweet that the parents want their kids to be the one, you know, to get the autograph. Like, it's all good. But at the same time, um, yeah, you know what? This, this guy, he needs, he needs a break from all the aggressive grabbing no, and pinching. Just and... buy, like, 50 tickets. <laughs> That's what you need to do. Yeah, that, you, that take was... your aggression to the box yeah. office. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are kind of kicking James Bond's ass in pre-sales right now. That was happening last week or something. That's a little crazy. I, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what the details are of it, but I mean, yeah, hopefully, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, I don't wanna jinx it. I'm just saying, going up against James Bond, man. There's some confidence in the film. That's all I'm yeah. gonna say. Cause Daniel Craig, he's a you're a good-looking guy. He's <laughs> also a very good-looking yeah, guy. If Daniel Craig wants the title, he can have it. I'll just, I'll just lie down. I'll just move out of the way. Okay, it's all yours. It's James Bond. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> was it cold out there for you guys? Because the weather, we were just like, I don't know how this cast is going to deal with it. Because it was freezing and raining. And uh, no, I mean, like, you've got like a million people screaming. Like it's like you can't even feel anything. Like you can't hear anything, like all your senses are just like, you're just on basic motor functions. <laughs> like it's like, it's like you know, yeah, people ask you a question, like, ha ah, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's me. It's <laughs> true, in the back of your head there's just something going, survive, 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 survive. <laughs> Let's just devour you. Um, okay, so we wanted to play a really quick little game for you guys. Um, and it's not about your hair, either of you, so you'll be happy. So what it is... Um, I don't know, I wash it, and then it dries, and then I add a little bit of, I don't know, something, some no, mousse. Mousse. sometimes I actually just use, like, whatever lotion is in the hotel, a little just bottle. Moisturizer. Just, like, yeah, just something to, like, throw it in to defrizz. Oh. See, now you asked the <laughs> question, the one question that was asked out of the Twilight cast about hair, you asked it. Oh, I know, yeah. Well, I'm going to start asking everyone. How do you do your hair? I don't. You know, how? What, is, it, is it real? You mean someone else does. <laughs> yes, it's real. I wake up and it's like this. Oh. Thank you for the question. That, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't find that aggravating at all because it's the first time anyone's ever asked. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, so you want to play this little game. It's really quick. It's really dirty. But we figure that everybody knows all about your characters. They want to know a little bit more about you. And you guys have been hanging out a lot. Right? The two of you. So how well do you guys know each other? I know Rachel. I know Rachel. I keep calling you Rachel. You know he knows me so well. Yeah, yeah. Rachel. that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> I know better than she'll than How she old do you know? Really? How old do you know Richard? Do you know him quite well? <laughs> Richard's amazing. <laughs> All right, so to help you out, because maybe he's, you guys don't know each other. He's Australian. Is he's from South Africa? Yeah, he's from South Africa. Okay, so to help you guys out, what we did is we made little cards, okay? Oh, yeah. right? So, wow. This is yours. So I'm going to ask a couple really quick questions, and you get to choose. You can dish. <laughs> Which one are you laughing at? Look at that photo of him. Richard from Australia? Yeah, we thought that's a pretty funny picture. <laughs> So I'm going to ask you some questions, and you get to pull out which one. You can't show each other, okay? So you're going to hide, and then oh, you're going to reveal to me. Yeah, you're going to hold up the answer. Okay. okay. So here we go. Who is most likely to wear the same clothes as yesterday? What are we supposed to do with the pictures? Now choose the answer. Oh. Who? <laughs> She's quick on the draw too. No Who's thought. going to wear the same clothes oh, as okay. yesterday? All right. Okay. One, two, three. Reveal. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you're, a, you're a dirty boy, huh? You're very dirty. Did yeah, you wear this yesterday? Something. <laughs> pretty much for the last three weeks. Does it smell bad? Or do you wash in between at least? Mm -hmm. I've been on tour, but like, I mean, Rochelle, it was weird. I had, smell, I had smell. a smell. I was supposed to smell you? Yeah. See? Musty. 
a little musty, like maybe a couple of days worth, but nothing hardcore. Okay. But I didn't wear it literally every single day. I mean, I, I'm not entirely sure how to use a washing machine now. Okay, next question. <laughs> Whose iPod would you most want to steal for a day? Very easy for me. Really? Oh, whoa, why, why? Ah. Why, why do you guys say that? What's so great about uh, her iPod? Uh, oh, you chose her yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, why, why did you choose it? Um, because she's Wicked Taste in Music, and she introduced me to um, a girl who's like one of my favorite recording artists right now, who is uh, a British songstress named Laura Marling. Who I introduced her to. And uh, I, I tried to play with her to her. I know, because Nikki, Nikki records little secret notes on her iPod, so I want to I hear them all. Like, to That's herself? I'm not really sure. She, she does, she has so clips of people, she has, I heard clips of you singing. Like, where yeah. you be like playing your guitar, and Nikki sneaks Se her iPod in and gets little I know, little clips. she has lots of little secrets. Yeah. Yeah. I want to have all those secrets. Alright, okay, next question. <laughs> now I'm afraid. No, I'm, I'm a little scared. afraid too. Who is most likely to be frightened by a group of screaming fans? Frightened. 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 But that doesn't have to be a bad thing, no, right? No, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. No, just a little like... <laughs> Wow, you guys really did. You really did. You guys really did <laughs> bond on set. Because she's little, like she's little. She's you know. They 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 they, they overpower her easily. Really. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. And and okay. So we're gonna ask just maybe two more. Two more. Who's most likely to throw their card down at the bar? You know, buy everybody drinks. This is gonna be my next best friend. Whoever um, this person is. Um. Uh. Oh, wait, wait a second. Yeah, yeah. I'll do two. I'll do two. <laughs> You'll do two. You'll do two. Okay. Um, it's, only one of, it's only one of two because technically, okay, technically two of them, you know, can't legally. drink it's legally. Okay. It's all right. It's okay. We'll it's forgive okay. that. We'll forgive that. I won't arrest them. Okay. So I'm actually going to go this way, I think. Ooh. Yeah. Look at you. Uh, <laughs> so if I come down to for a drink, I know who I'm going to bring with me. So I'll buy all the drinks. That's good to know. Okay. The final question is... Who, and we have the two right people to ask this, who is most likely to be recognized for their hair? Well, I, um, I think Rochelle's a very recognizable hair. It is, but on the other hand, I feel You're like Rob's here. cards. You guys are just uh, okay, like just so, missing my game. Okay, okay, so. Why well, always wear a hat? This is for most recognizable hair. For, I picked myself, but I think Rob's hair is more famous than my hair. So I'm going to have to go with you're, Rob. You have famous hair. This is such a good face. It's amazing, I'm gonna by use, the way. I'm going to use my headshot. Like, you're like the new J-Lo. She insured her ass. You should insure your hair. I think, it's, I think it's referring to this picture. You're like the new J-Lo. <laughs> You, the similarities are striking, actually. Uh, well, thank you very much for playing my game with me. I feel like I know you guys so much better, and we should go for drinks or something. That'd be great. <laughs> All right, thanks very much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.